It's Friday, March 20th, 2015. I'm Andre Grant. This is... Soren Baker. And this is DX Daily. So first up, Dre, man, we got this Shook Knight situation. His bail was set at $25 million today. <laughs> and then it was reported that my man collapsed. Sometime afterwards. Sometime after getting the news. What's your take on this, Dre? You know, it's crazy that Suge um, has fallen and he hasn't gotten up. I've fallen and I can't get up. Supposedly. Allegedly. Secondly, yeah. <laughs> secondly, I think it's just absolutely crazy that um, Homeboy's been in all these kinds of situations before, been in and out of court, and he gets this and he kind of goes down for the count. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's odd because he has been such a fixture, shall we say, in the legal system for such a long time that it's just weird that now all these problems are manifesting. Then again, he is getting up there in age. Now he's having vision problems. Legally blind. Legally blind. <laughs> I'm legally blind. <laughs> but um, I'm interested to see how it's all going to work out because, you know, Suge has been very creative and crafty in the past. So I'm intrigued to see how this is all going to play out. Me too. I mean, Johnny Cochran no longer exists. God rest his soul. So I don't think anyone else can get him on. Yeah. Now, moving on. Unfortunately, we had some other bad news. ASAP Yams, the result of his death has been released by the uh, coroner's office in New York. And Dre, it was reported that it's a drug, drug situation. So what's your take on this? I mean, you know, when it first came out, a lot of people were saying that it wasn't a drug overdose. Um, and rightfully so, there's a sort of stereotype between um, how people in hip hop are viewed with drug overdoses, right. Pimp C, and going on and that forth. So um, as opposed to someone like Philip Seymour Hoffman, for example. Okay. So I think that it was that was a good idea, but now that it's come out and um, that's what this is what we all expected, I think it's just really sad. I think it's sad, but I hope that you know we you mentioned Pimp C. We've had DJ Screw and others where people have really denied or not at least acknowledged the fact that drugs do play a part in a lot of these uh, deaths. Right. And I think this is hopefully hopefully an eye-opening experience and something that people can look at and say, you know what. We may have thought or may have believed or didn't want to believe that this was drug related, but you know, cats don't usually just die at 26 unless something is, you know, super medically wrong, which they would have known it. It's rare that a guy would just randomly die at 26. So I hope that people are using this as an example and an instance to show, hey man, we got to be careful. We got to look at drugs and what we're doing with our bodies. Cause now there's so inf much information about drugs, about exercise, about diet, all these things to help you that you know, there's no excuse for taking it that far. Right, health has to become a huge part of hip hop. If it doesn't, we're gonna get more deaths like this. And it was tragic, he was on his way up, up, up. Yeah. And now ASAP is relied on. He was tremendously successful, and now he's gone. Absolutely. And another person who's been tremendously successful throughout his career is Ludacris, who's in the new Fast and Furious, Furious 7, coming out April 3rd. Our man Jay was able to hook us up, thanks Jay, no with a uh, exclusive video here. Why don't we check this clip? It's hard to believe that this entire franchise came to be out of a magazine article written back in 1998, but that's exactly what happened. Just as we have grown over the last 15 years, so have our characters, and we work really hard to make all these characters real and truthful. It's extremely surreal, you know, where this franchise started to where it's at. It's a worldwide phenomenon. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I know you're ready. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's Ludacris talking about Furious 7. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing the movie, but one thing I just always remember, Ludacris as an actor in Crash, man. Absolutely. The whole setup of like, the persecution of blacks being misrepresented with Lorenz Tate there in the movie, Absolutely. beginning of the movie, and then they go carjack somebody. Right. I love that. That was hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. And you know, Ludacris is like a vastly underrated as an actor. I agree. And he's, he's almost been responsible for a billion dollars in sales worldwide. And there's just, there's just nothing that you can say about him to say that he hasn't been remarkably successful at that. I don't know why he's been overlooked. What do you think? Well, I think this, this movie is going to help, and I think the legacy of the Fast and Furious franchise is going to go a long way. He was in an Oscar-winning, Oscar-nominated film, and he's just super successful, man. So I'm glad to see Ludacris doing his thing. Jay hooked this up, and we're glad to hear it, man. Absolutely. But basically, that's it. Those are today's top hip-hop headlines. And that always, is... what do you do, Dre? Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. And always for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.